<laughs> it doesn't feel like February down here in Corpus Christi. This is awesome. We got some things we want to share with you. Some of the things that we've seen since we've been here that we don't see in Wisconsin. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And this is Bob and Bob Jr. <laughs> Welcome back, boys. Oh my gosh, what a scare. For about three weeks, I could not find the bobbers. And it was freaking me out. As if you know the story, this belongs to our grandson in Canada. And I was gonna send him back at Christmas time and I didn't put him in the package with all the other stuff. I thought, well, okay, I'll just keep him a little longer. And he was okay with that. Bob, and then, Bob was. Yeah. yeah, Bob was too. But, um, okay, so. He was, he was all right with, with that happening, not getting it back right away. It's not like he doesn't have any toys, but it's just, you know, Bob's pretty special to him. So anyway, I was looking and looking and looking and it didn't, it didn't I was even, looking and looking too. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't even dawn on me right away because we were doing other things and we had the big cold that came through Corpus. It wasn't a huge uh, bad thing, uh, only lasted for a couple of days. Um, we we just did some necessary precautions. I did not do another video on how to protect your <laughs> RV in the cold because I've done 10 videos on that already. You can watch the playlist for that if you want that. So I just decided, you know, we were just doing other things. We've been busy with the church, um, starting some new events and things. And there's a lot of decisions that have to be made there on, on various things. And we're trying to help them through that. So it's just a lot of a lot of stuff going on. But when we're out and about, um, one of the things that we like to see is kite boarding. Kite boarding is so cool. I've never seen anything like it before. We've seen windsurfing where they have a like a, a, a surfboard and they have a, a sail. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a sail on it. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna let Gary hold it. I just brought the selfie with me. Anyway, we were, one of the things that we've been enjoying is watching kite boarding. It's a, a really cool sport, very expensive, I think. They <laughs> oh, say yeah. it doesn't cost much to get into it, but our figures and our math added up to at least 3,000 just to get started. Anyway, um, I was sitting at our dining room and I was, our dining room, <laughs> our little dinette, and I was looking out and I, I could see in the field beyond us, I could see these big, huge kites up in the air, and I thought, what is that? So we drove over there, and we saw there were people attached to them. <laughs> and it is the coolest thing. They're on these small, like a skateboard kind of thing almost, a little bigger, and they go skimming across the water, and then they catch the wind, and they go up in the air. And Gary <laughs> says they're going about... A little long ways up, yeah, further than you want to fall. Well, how about, yeah. how far? About 40, 50 feet, maybe. Yeah, up it's in the air. Ways. Yeah, we talked, we've been talking with different people there when, when we watched them. And one woman said that uh, the wind that day was like 22 miles an hour. And she said they actually like it to be windier. Closer to 30. Yeah, that's, that's the ideal. Yikes. They have different kites for different, um, wind current I guess I they oh, I we, suppose maneuvers too yeah we yeah. heard one saying that he wasn't sure if he should use his number eight or his number ten <laughs> and he had just gotten back from South Africa where they do a lot of this kind of sport and it's yeah. something that seniors probably shouldn't try probably not <laughs> yeah unless you're extremely good condition on that but. yeah
Getting back to Bob, been looking for him, couldn't find him, went back through my pictures to see when was the last time Bob was in a video or when did I see him last. And it, it, it was about almost three weeks ago and I'm like, oh my goodness, well, what did I do with him? And I'd gone through everything, but I didn't look in, I didn't check one pocket as carefully as I thought I did in my purse. It usually yeah. only holds very flat things and Bob is not flat. He's, he's you know, he's, Bumpy. he's a little chubby. Yeah. No offense. So I was going through my purse the other day. I thought, I'm going to just check one more time and see where he may be. And sure enough, he was in the one pocket that he should not have been in. <laughs> I think he snuck in there. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. Bob. No, no. <laughs> I did not sneak in there. You put me in there and you just forgot. Yeah, I saw you do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Back to your pouch. Yeah, yeah I'm going to put you back in your, in your my purse again. If you don't. <laughs> don't get sassy. <laughs> so the kiteboarding thing's been really cool. We've been doing a lot of things at the, at the RV park, social things there that have been a lot of fun. We've been going to potluck almost every Wednesday night. They always have a wonderful entree of some kind that is prepared by two people who used to own a restaurant in Port Aransas. And Port Aransas was wiped out pretty bad from Hurricane Harvey. And so they were, they lost their business and they lost their fishing boats and everything. And they live in the RV park and they make these wonderful entrees. Last night we had chicken enchiladas with fried uh, Spanish rice and uh, was it Verde? Yeah. Verde sauce yes. over it. But then everybody else brings something too to add to that. So it's $5 per person. A couple of weeks ago we had Szechuan chicken over rice. Um, we've had, uh, they've had pot roast and mashed potatoes, you know, and then everybody just brings something to add into that or to add, you know, to complement the meal. There's always plenty and last night we ate way too much <laughs> then on Friday night every other Friday they have uh, they have happy hour and during the happy hour we should be showing the uh, lake here oh, lake. <laughs> little pond <laughs> I can't oh, no tell. just okay this so oh. yeah and right, we'll give you a little more scenery here with that that's better <laughs> all right happy hour is every Friday night and they have, surprisingly, not that much alcohol. It's, <laughs> it's, it's mostly just getting together and having fun. Sometimes we play games afterwards. Uh, but that's, again, everybody brings something to share. Um, and then on the weeks, every other week, they have hamburgers, some of the best hamburgers we've ever had with all the fixings. And then they have um, burger. They can either do the burgers or hot dogs. We haven't done the hot dogs. That's always a good meal. So two nights a week, sometimes, I don't have to think about what I'm going to make for supper. I just have to think of what I'm going to take as a potluck thing. That's kind of cool. Um, I started a, a woman's Bible study, but it, it's incorporated into an event. And we're doing something called the SOAP method of Bible study. So you pick a Bible passage or two, and then the S of SOAP is a scripture part. The O is the observation part. That's where you figure out, you know, who wrote it, why do they write it, um, how does it, and then um, maybe the history of it a little bit. Maybe we dig into that a little bit. And then the A part is how does it apply to us? And then we talk about that. We have some discussion on that. And then the P part is prayer. And you pray about how you can incorporate and, and really take this Bible passage to heart. So that was really neat. We started that, uh, we've done one so far. We met at a restaurant. We had 11 ladies come and a couple of very well-behaved children. And then after that, now this next one will be in uh, February and it's gonna be called 
Love is brunch. And we're going to have it at the church. And the ladies are so good about making amazing food on, on Sundays just for fellowship. So they're going to be bringing their, their wonderful items for that, for the brunch. And then we're going to have another Bible study on 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. If you want to take a look at that ahead of time, it's on love. Love is. And how the Christian is to love. And then, um, and then we're going to make a little craft. I hope. Hope it works out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I haven't made the craft itself yet. I'm still working on that. So what I've been doing is just encouraging the guys. But there's a, a real desire to make some improvements and changes. And, especially in the area of outreach. So we're gently working into that, praying for good results in them and then also in the community. They've done a lot of outreach over the years. They've done quite a few events and things, but it kind of fell by the wayside, I think. It had been several years since they've done them. And so we're just kind of reviving some of that stuff again and uh, just getting them thinking about new possibilities you know when you get to be an older congregation and you don't have very many kids you only have two and you have uh your um oh, your most of them are retired like you said and it, it's just a lot of these churches are kind of struggling you know with what to do now what to do next and and everything and they kind of get stuck and we've we've dealt with this before with other congregations and little by little, we're picking up on newer ideas all the time. And I'm passing those on to those other co congregations that Gary has served in the past for vacancies. So we're still helping some of those churches as well. And it's just a good feeling to get people excited about things again and to get them feeling good about their what their church teaches. You know, it teaches the truth. And... Not everybody finds that to be a popular thing nowadays, but you know, God's word stands and that's what we, we hold on to. So, um, so we have a lot of work left to do. We're doing the fun stuff, we're doing the other stuff. Oh, <laughs> and then we're doing the not so fun stuff. <sighs> dental work, getting <laughs> dental work done. Um, a while back, we did a video on how I had a broken tooth, and I had to get a crown, and it was very expensive, and I found out that my Medicare uh, supplement did not pay for it. So the dentist put me in touch with a woman who is absolutely fabulous. I can't speak enough good about Marie. She's incredible. And um, so I'm getting three more crowns for the price that I paid for one out of pocket because of the insurance coverage that we have now. And Gary also switched over and he's getting his appointment. His first appointment is coming up. We'll see what he needs to have done. But we're gonna get all that taken care of while we're here. Uh, we're also gonna get some blood work because it's been a few years since we've had that done. We wanna get that just in our, update our records for that. Not from the dentist. Not from the dentist, no. no. From the doctor. From the no. doctor, yeah. And okay. she even made an appointment for us. I mean, she's incredible. I don't know. She's just like an angel on earth here. So we're very, very, very happy with her. Um, and and we're just glad to be getting some of these things taken care of. Because up in Wisconsin, we've tried to get in to see different doctors and things for different whatever. And It's if, difficult because we're there in the summer. And yeah. that's when they're probably more busy with family stuff or vacations and emergencies to, yeah, and, uh -huh. yeah all the emergencies that come up in summer right yeah. so this has been good this is really good we have all that in the works um getting started on that as well she made appointments for that too uh, I uh think. back in, in uh, wisconsin we would have to wait a year nine months to a year yeah just to get an appointment it's so dumb so here it happens in two weeks yeah because <laughs> because we have marie all right so that's all happening with us. Um, I don't know. We've just been enjoying the weather. We've been enjoying the people. We've been enjoying the church. We've been enjoying just a lot of things about it. And I'm telling you, this just doesn't get old. Hmm. Every time we come here, there was a sea turtle rescue during the cold spell. We did not get in on that. Really wish we could have. We didn't know about it till after the fact. 
Uh, but now we do know if there's another cold spell coming, which we kind of hope there isn't. <laughs> for the turtles and for us. Other things at the RV park that we've really enjoyed, Monday nights is Bunko Night. And it's a fast moving race to see who can get Bunko or 21 first, 21 points. I'm not gonna explain it, but it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a dice, it's three dice. And that's been a lot of fun. We've been doing that every Monday night. And uh, Monday during the day, they're gonna start line dancing. And Gary is so excited. <laughs> I may be going there alone. <laughs>
<clears throat> and uh, cheaper for income tax and that kind of thing. So we have that decision to make. But we're just still looking into that right now. And frankly, we're just so busy with our social life <laughs> and, and the church life here that we haven't really had a chance to really dig into it very much lately. But yeah. that is one of the things we have to look into this, this before summer comes. We plan to be in Corpus Christi area until about the middle of um, April. And then depending on the weather back home and what's happening up there and in between, uh, we may end up doing a little bit more exploring down here without any commitments to anything or anyone for a little bit and before we head north. This is what we've been walking on. <laughs> it's not the smoothest route here. There's been a lot of tracks. Not sure why there's so many tracks. It's like they pushed the sand up against that roll there. Uh, they must do that from time to time just to smooth things out. But big tracks, man, these things are huge. Look at that. Look how big that is. So we keep plowing into those. And once in a while, one time I got kind of a sharp little shell stuck in my sandal here. So that's why we don't go barefoot. If you're still with us, I hope you are. Um, earlier I mentioned how our, our church teaches the truth and how that's not always the most popular thing. Jesus told us about that in his word, that we were not going to be popular for speaking the truth and for being holding on to his word firmly. So that makes it a little challenging, but it, that's, we were told it would be it would not be easy. We're, we're carrying a cross. Now Jesus tells us to take up our cross and follow him, whatever that might be, uh, that we have to take up. And so sometimes it's any number of difficulties, but often it's going to be uh, ridicule, rejection, uh, different opinions that people may have, but we have to go back to what Jesus has entrusted to us, and that's his word. It's a daily struggle, but it's also a daily blessing uh, in return. Yeah. And sometimes so, people get discouraged. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Because you know people aren't listening. Well, people didn't listen to Jesus in his day either. And so it's just that our job is just to be out there and keep planting seeds. And let the Holy Spirit do the work. Right? We are blessed. God bless those who hear us. Yes. So every day I wake up and I'm, I'm like, you know, God, please put the words in my mouth that need to be heard today. <clears throat> Let me show my light to someone, Jesus' light, through me, to someone who needs it today. And that's always pretty much a good goal to have every day. I think we're going to end this video here. We really... Just wanted to just kind of catch you up on some things and show you some of the things that you've been doing, what's been going on here. We wanted you to know we're having some fun down here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not all work. <laughs> and even the work part has is, is been fun. Yep. Yeah. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And next to it, a bell is going to pop up. And if you ring that bell, you'll be notified every time new videos come up. Check out our Facebook page. We have some extra things on there that we don't put in our videos. And until next time, God, God bless. bless.